Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne, the Crazy Blonde, and I'm here to show you how to make a cheese board. The holidays are coming, and you're gonna have guests in and out of your house, and a cheese board is really great, and you can make something ahead for your guests to nibble on while you're in the kitchen cooking. The first thing that you wanna do is to gather your cheeses, and I recommend having an odd number of cheeses, and you can have a theme, you can do maybe French cheeses, or Italian cheeses, or you can just do whatever you like. It's good to have some soft cheese, some hard cheese, some stinky cheese, um, but either way you do it, your guests are gonna love it. So I'm gonna start with this red dragon cheese, which is a semi-soft cheese, and it has mustard seeds in it. It's very delicious and just goes great with um, all different kinds of things. This is a smoked Gouda, and it's nice to have a few things sliced. Some people just don't wanna stand and and cut the cheese so if you have a little bit sliced already then people can just pick it up and make a cracker and be on their way. This is a Parmigiano Reggiano which is one of my favorite cheeses and it's great for cooking obviously but it's so good on its own as well. This is a um, soft goat cheese and this is a gorgonzola, which is a blue cheese. It's a little stinky, it has a really, really nice flavor. And then I'm gonna add this sopressata, which is a cured meat, goes great with cheeses, looks really pretty on the platter. It's nice to have some fruit. The sweetness of the fruit is so good with the cheeses. It makes the board look really pretty. Next, I'm gonna add um, a red pepper jelly. I love the red pepper jelly with the smoked Gouda. It's actually good with everything maybe but the, um, the red dragon, but probably be fine with that too, actually. And this is one of my favorite things. It's a very Southern condiment, and it's pickled okra. And this is my favorite brand of pickled okra. It's called Wickles, and it's a sweet, hot pickled okra. And if you're making Bloody Marys, it's the best thing. So I'll just put that right there. These are little French pickles called cornichons, and they're just great with cheese and the sopressata. Another thing I like to add to the cheese board are some nuts. They add a nice crunch, and these are some local pecans. This morning, I melted a little butter in my skillet. I added the pecans and about two tablespoons full of brown sugar, and then some chili powder. So those are great with the cheese, a little sweet, a little spicy. Then I'm gonna add some bread. This is a bread from a local bakery, and it's a raisin bread, which I like. I like the sweetness of the, of the raisins with the cheese. I think it goes really nicely together, and it adds so much interest to the platter, it's beautiful. So just have some stacks of bread in a few different places. You can always replenish later. Then I like to add crackers as well as bread. Some people would rather have a cracker. And these are Carr's Rosemary Crackers. They're my favorite kind. Some people just like a plain cracker, but I think these are really good. So just use what you like. And then to this, I'm gonna add some dried apricots, which I think are fabulous with cheese. And instead of another bowl, I'm just gonna sprinkle them around. They add a nice touch of color. Dried fruit is so good for any time of the year. And then the very last thing I'm going to add is a little pot of honey. Honey is great with cheese. It's so delicious with Parmesan to find a place to fit it in here. I think the cheese platter looks really great when it's very full. So the more the better. And my honey is from the mountains of North Carolina. It's really great to have um, local cheese if you can find it, and local honey is always good too. And then it's really important to have a knife, I think, for every cheese, so you don't have messy knives and people cutting one cheese with every knife, or every cheese with one knife. So this is great for the Parmesan to just break it up a little bit. You can have a few pieces already broken off so that people can just pick it up and go, and then they can they can work on it some more later. This is um, a spreader, so it's good for a softer cheese. This can be for the Red Dragon. 
and then the soft goat cheese. So just make sure you have a knife for every cheese. And don't forget to have a nice bottle of wine to go with your cheese platter. Your guests will love this. So I hope you're inspired to make a cheese platter for your next gathering, and thanks for stopping by.